so we're down and out. It's like almost round five and Zen drops a guy after post-war and we've got to wait for Zencaster to upload our files. We're telling stories, stories that are too good. I got to start it recording. So Frank Hamilton leading us off. You got to tell us this CBS cigar story. All right. So uh, I know a guy who knows a guy who owns this company in Southern Oregon, uh, Southern Oregon called uh, uh, No Leslie Entertainment. And what they do is they go retrofit stadiums for Super Bowls. Uh, Rose Bowls, big big events that need lots of uh, labor. So we uh, we kind of browbeat this guy into taking him with us. So we fly from Oregon to Miami, and we're just these you know these hicks. And there we are in Miami on the Dolphin Stadium, tearing out stadium seats and building these platforms. And that's where all the the uh, I don't want to call them off, but all the you know not the primary broadcasters. Like Telemundo was up there and all these were like local affiliates. They'd be at the very top of the stadium on these platforms that we built broadcasting the, the Super Bowl. And uh, we had access passes and stuff like that, but we couldn't go on the field during the uh, live portion of the game unless you were one of these guys that was cr uh, critical help. And so we managed to get that, you know, just by brown nosing. And so we were pulling wire for the electricians for the halftime show. We were the guys dragging wire out to make sure all the stages were powered and stuff like that. Well, that access didn't go away after the halftime show. So I stayed, so me and, you know, the other guys stayed on the field during the second half of the game. And we'd stay from there. We'd wander up to the very top of the scoreboard at some point in time where their pyrotechnics would go off. You know, we'd, quote unquote, help the pyrotechnics guy. And then, you know, eventually make our way back down to the bottom of the field. At the end of the game, they have the, uh, the MB MVP ceremonies and stuff like that. And the crowd, the crowd just kind of makes its way onto the field, especially all the, you know, the VIPs that, that pay for that kind of access. And when all that stuff dies down, all the people leave where they're at like midnight, you know, it's starting to rain, Everybody's still pretty happy. We're smoking cigars. You see the owners of CBS and other big companies, you know, patting each other on the back for, you know, their million dollars made. And we're close enough to them. We're like, yeah, you know, we'll take your cigars. We'll drink your whiskey. And <coughs> excuse me. And we're driving these golf carts around because these guys, you know, it's forever walk. So we're shuttling these guys back and forth, smoking their cigars, drinking their whiskey. And after you know, about 45 hour longer of doing that stuff. The stadium's almost empty. It's just employees. And the very next day, they're going to cover this $7 million worth of Super Bowl grass with tons and tons of rock so they can have monster trucks the next day. <laughs> so we jump in these go-karts and we're racing each other down the, you know, down the 50 yard line, <laughs> peeling. Down. And like three or four days earlier, if we had set foot on the field, you're just immediately fired is sent home in shame and here we are now just peeling donuts and just tearing up this grass that they had shipped from kentucky on flatbed trucks where oh. was this where was this story when messina supposedly locked me in a closet and was interviewing you for our attack of opportunity because that you know how'd you know you were a nerd never was i was drinking whiskey and ripping up the 750th line you know frank that's just a, frank that's just a good line of questioning for the future it's like what's your coolest story like, that's a cool cigar story. I'm 19. I'm living in Toronto and we get a bunch of guys together. And this is when you'd have like video game parties where like you had the split screen and we decided to drink. And the only thing you could like cooperate on is one of those nights is an off night where like we're all free, but we didn't have plans and we're kind of broke. And there wasn't the din steak dinner to go to or the girls to hang out with or whatever. It's like a Friday or Saturday night. And there's about five or six of us. So we decided to get some really good liquor. And we're going to get stogies, but we're, you know, we're students and just getting into the working world. We're kind of broke. So instead of going the high end cigar with CBS, like Frank here, we went the low end and we go to one of those smoke shops that are just like nothing but all kinds of wine dip filter stuff. And like the smoke, smoke shops used to have everywhere. And we're going to like, we're going to get the worst, horrible, nastiest cigars we can find. And we're like, we find $3 ones. We get excited. We find $1.50 ones, $1.15. We're getting all excited. Then we find these plastic candy containers right on the corner of the till. How did we miss these? You know, we're bringing buck 50 cigars all giggling to the till. And then we see these 89 cent cigars and we get 
all excited. And then we see oh, the one beside it is like 73 cent cigars. And we get even more excited. And then the, the store owner almost threw us out. We're getting so excited. We didn't start drinking yet. 62 cent pig shit roll cigars. They were gray. They're not brown. These things were like gray. They look like paper wasp ash gray. We took them home, get all liquored up, played a bunch of Mario Kart, and then smoked them. And I don't smoke. But, you know, that that 62 cent cigar, I'll never forget that or that story or turning green. Hey, look, Jeff's as gray as the cigar. That's awesome. What do you guys got? <laughs> no, no cigar stories. I'm the other end of the spectrum where Frank Hamilton is hanging out with his Hamilton tickets at CBS. And so, you know, I'm, I'm like playing Mario Karts at 19 with the uh... two ranges that Frank and you have set up. I can only hit somewhere in the middle. No, let's hear it. <laughs> this all started while well, we're talking about smoking and who does and who doesn't and vaping and how bad it is and everything and we'd start launching these stories and i hit record come on messina what you got i got nothing you got nothing, <laughs> I, got nothing. I don't smoke i got nothing that's that's his smoking story <laughs> did i mention weed is, is legal here in canada how about you uh guys nothing i'm still in my prime it hasn't happened public yet. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i can do a public yeah. Uh, Matt, you're, you're right here for me tonight. <laughs> Doing the high five. Uh, <laughs> keep hitting your microphone. Like keep hitting your microphone, Masita. See how long Merrick wait. stands up. Oh, no, wait. Merrick's down. Just waiting. Just waiting. Why are we waiting? Why are we burning time? Because we're waiting for like the last files to upload so we can play again. And Come on, Joe. One of us. What's up? There's got to be a celebrity rub elbows with slash or a cigar story you got for us. Uh, well, <clears throat> back in the day, in the younger days, when uh, when doing... Billy Billy Bracken was amongst us. Yes, we were doing stuff with, <laughs> with Mister Bracken, right? For you know, guitar tech extraordinaire that he still is. Uh, I got to pull up that Facebook photo right now. Go ahead. I had I had to cover a show for him because he was doing another tour. So I am not a guitar tech. I'm a bass player. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bass player, not you play them. You don't. Uh... Yeah, no, it's like it's, it's slightly different, right? But long. So I had to cover for him the uh, freaking uh, David Wilcox out in uh, the what the hell was it called? Uh, the the Darnell, I do believe, in freaking uh, Miss, uh, Wasaga Beach, also Darnella. known as Carl. Yeah. <laughs> this is his real name, Ella. Carl. Yeah. Yeah, Wasaga Beach. Beach. Yeah, Wasaga Beach. So yeah. yeah, so I was doing that show, right? Nice and easy. I right? met all the guys. You know, drank a lot of, drank too much before the show. Enjoying myself, and midway through the show, I see my baby cousin, who's no longer a baby anymore, totally plastered out of his mind, in the front and stage and he actually recognized me and then i ended up going back to the the hotel with them after the show and yeah it just got really stupid but partied with my baby cousin <laughs> nice awesome so that's that's awesome i just got to um i'm gonna pull up uh a source here i want to i want to show these guys this awesome awesome where we're we here uh Got to show everybody this awesome picture of, awesome um, picture. yep. Hang on one second here. Just got to figure out my, oh, no, it's not working. Oh no, it's not working. I'm trying to, this awesome picture of you and Bill, you know, in your bass playing days. Oh, in the, the old band days. Yep. <laughs> it's not working. It won't, it won't, it won't show it. Nope. <laughs> Don't know the tech. That, that, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> refuses to be acknowledged yeah that, that i'll just, I'll just download there. it yeah. yeah uh what about you matt oh well i mean i've bumped elbows with a few famous folks uh just over the band days um i mean famous canadian folks who the rest of the world probably has never heard of but we all probably know uh i opened for melissa etheridge uh at a show open for big sugar met them actually partied with um with big sugar a little bit after the the uh bracebridge river fest show 
drummer cool. got lessons from their drummer because we used to cover a lot of their tunes. Is this, is there a cigar in the story before this becomes like a, a shameless <laughs> name drop fest? <laughs> they, they were, they <laughs> I'm were, pretty sure you're going to oh, win. I mean, I mean, for me, there, there's always blunts. It's just, you know. <laughs> it's always blunts. A blunt the size of a cigar. A blunt the size of a cigar, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's legal now, so good for yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, you guys can't see this, but I'm looking at a picture of Bill Ingram, Joe Gibson, and Billy Brackett. Three guys that when I transferred from Brock High School in Cannington to Fenland Falls, um, didn't know. But I knew Bill Ingram, and I met Joe and Billy later. And these guys, they look like, there's two guys with beer hats. They look like hosers. And then there's Joe and Billy, and Joe's got the Axl Rose thick headband and the hair coming down and the the, the um john lennon glasses on and billy's got the big shag perm and the ripped jeans and you know you can see it in the video here and uh the third guy oh yeah that's, that's oh, 90s yeah. man yeah, that's um <laughs> early 90s I, i'm just gonna drop the link here because it's shame that you know these guys should not should not miss this <laughs> should, should not miss this at all so Dropping a link here. We move to the next story. Um, what about you, Jay? Did we lose him? Yeah, we lost him like an hour ago. Oh, wow. He stomped out of the room in character and he really took his toys and went home in, in person. Okay. So you guys enjoying this picture? Is it the right one? Checking the link uh, in, in the Zoom. For me, it says, sorry, this content isn't available right now. <laughs> Joe's in there going block, 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 block. <laughs> well, it's on video. It's on video. You can, we can't un, ever unsee this here. But that's um, Billy Ingram on the left. Joe, who we're talking to right now in the middle. Billy Brackett on the right, who I actually just ran into. He came into town here, and I was telling him about the podcast. And he played Star Wars with us. He was our Wookiee. And he made we made Wookiee jokes where we had a Wookiee litter in the back, and he would go and you know use the Wookiee litter and come up. And, and he was also the guy where – um, would you know the proverbial you know rip arms of the sockets that Wookiees do, and we're fighting stormtrooper and he downed one and he ripped, you know the arms off and my character turned to him and said what, what are you doing, and so he turns and he's like rrr, rrr, as a Wookiee I'm like there's no prize inside. <laughs> <laughs> Got to look. Got to look. Anyway, I think we're out of stories. We'll have to air this for some kind of bonus content. Wait, what about you, Aiden? You got any uh, rub elbows? Uh, not really. I mean, no. wasn't you smoking uh, a blunt with Snoop, with Snoop Dogg? No, sorry, that was uh, Fluffy, the entertainer. No, um, I mean, closest was when I went up to a uh, the Summer Slaughter tour when they dropped by Tempe, Arizona, I think, or it was Mesa uh, a couple of years back, and I got to see Arch Enemy, Vale of Maya, and whatnot, but. I, no, I mean I'm only 21 right now. My my good years are in front of me. Hopefully, <laughs> I, oh, I mean, at 21, I was I was waiting friends. on Roger Rick and Marilyn, the Roger of the of the or sorry, the Rick. Hate, hate to yeah. break it to you, but it's all downhill. From yeah, there, brother. And, and that was my concern. But it, I don't know. I mean. I, I don't have any wild stories. I never did anything wild in my wild? younger years. It's a golf cart. Frank was doing four miles an hour. It's just how you picture the awesome. <laughs> okay. You, you know those, you ever see those movies now where like they're doing all kinds of stuff and you're in the move, movement and the moment and everything. And then they just cut the music and do a pullback shot. And you just see a guy doing something silly. Yeah. You know, there you go. <laughs> Sorry to ruin Frank's story, but don't worry, man. You're like, you know, it's not how you live. It's how you live in your memories. It's the post op of memory that's you know so awesome. No, I mean, I trust me. <laughs> not I have the a, story. A great it's memory. a storyteller. Yeah, just right. none that make a good story. And trust me, I'm a great storyteller. I just I can't make any of this shit sound fun or interesting for people. Okay, you'll learn. Just hang out with us longer. <laughs> you'll learn. Um, we're still uploading Ryan. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to kill this. So Pat, Ryan. I hope you enjoyed story time, everybody. I, 